Welcome to Nuts at Night, episode number 103. The show on the Pod Nuts Network, where I do not know why we are still doing this show. <laughs> 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 to be honest. And um, that's who, let's see what's going to happen tonight. This is a show where we just kind of bring uh, some stuff that's interesting, uh, entertaining, uh, things we find on the internet, funny videos, uh, some tech stuff, some business stuff. It's a definitely a hodgepodge of things. And uh, who brings the goods are our awesome co-hosts, starting with Steve D'Amico from stevendamico.com. <laughs> That's right. I'm awesome. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Did I say awesome? Yeah. Yep. So how are you doing? I'm a little waterlogged, and I'm mobile again. Woohoo! Yeah, got my car. Waterlogged. It's raining up there? Oh, my God. It won't stop. It's been just crazy rain for days. It's awesome. Cool. Let me tell you. Wow. And you got your car back? Yeah. Transmission and all, to, right? Yeah. I don't have to drive to work like a Mexican anymore on my bicycle. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> he just went there. I yeah. love the Mexicans. Jeez. How do you I feel live, about I live that here? here. We have, we, it's it, cool. I'm not know, Mexican. It, <laughs> <laughs> I, I live in an area where um, and I have a lot of clients that are Mexican guys, and they uh, they all ride to my shop and their little bicycles and everything, and I, I love the guys. They're the best. I, know, they pay I cash. love how every time Steve insults somebody, he says how much friends he has in that and that, that <laughs> love, and how he loves they, them. So I like we get along because we got we both love bicycles. Okay, it's true. Also joining us, Eric Salse, filling in for Chris Barry. Who's not here tonight? The American Chris Berry. How's it going? <laughs> What's going on, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hosers. Oh, man. Thanks for joining us, Eric. I appreciate it. Well, thanks for having me. I feel like I should throw in a couple of a boats and maybe a processor. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? and well, how many Fantastics are you going to give us? Because that's all we hear. <laughs> Um, Maybe six, seven. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's actually cool. On Android App Addicts, the show we do before this, Door was just praising you constantly for helping him out with his droid, his Dell Streak. And um, I'll tell you, it's, for somebody to help Door as much as you did, that's an accomplishment. I mean, well, thanks. The man usually gives, and you know, for somebody to actually give to him, give him. Well, help he's it. been helping me for the last year, so it's it's a okay. uh, it's payback. Okay, good. Also joining us, Liam Tidwell. From LiamTech.com. What's up, Liam? Just doing a little dance for you. Thank you very much. I'm tired as hell. Thanks. You are a trooper. Are for, you really? Trooper for doing this show. Is that what you are? <laughs> or are you something <laughs> <Trooper>. else? <laughs> Steve D, what do you want to bring to the show tonight? Um, I'm going to bring uh, William to the show. Mr. Liam, he is drunk. That's what I'm going to bring to the show right now. Okay. Thank Don't you. Drunk That's William. NSFP. Like I said no. before the show started. Yes. Three three things I would like for this show, okay? Come to First the show. Rule. You don't talk rule about Rule number pilots. 1. Come to the show. Number 2. Come on time and 3. Be coherent. They those are not impossible rules and I think we could get them done. We will be we will see. We will see. I'm adhering to all three. I'm I'm three laws <laughs> safe currently. Yeah, we'll do yeah, the judge that. <laughs> I'm working on that third one though. <laughs> all right, Steve D, what do you have for the day? I can't get into the Justin chat. I've been trying, and I've been embarrassed to actually tell you. So you're gonna have to skip me at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, what do you want to talk about? Is that code for he doesn't have anything to talk about, and so uh, no. pass. <laughs> All right, oh, so a couple of weeks ago, uh, I believe Steve brought the Which Steve? Hotmail attack versus uh, Google. Uh huh. And uh, I don't know if anyone remembers that, but Google has semi struck back, I should say. It's called the Gmail intervention. What? And what this is, is it's Gmail's attempt to get everyone to switch their friends off of other. Uh, <laughs> Gmail intervention. Oh, you're referring to the internal video they did. Yeah, uh, no, because I got mine on the external. Mine was on my website, my uh, Gmail website. Save your friends from outdated email. What is this in retaliation to? Was it last week? Maybe a week before? There was a hot or an MSN video floating around where they were making fun of the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Gmail yes, man. yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Gmail video guy. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm assuming they're talking about Hotmail in this one. But 
Oh, cool. Let me check it out. Save your friends so from So there's a little video. Yeah. All right, let me play this baby. Here we go. It's playing. Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Muskett, <clears throat> and I am an intervention specialist. <laughs> You've probably already been improving the lives of your friends and family by helping them switch to Gmail. But we all have that one friend. <laughs> that one friend who hasn't made the jump who's been indifferent to your prods and reminders, who still emails you from that embarrassingly out-of-date address. An address that should be laid to rest, like so many other items of its time. <laughs> Scrunchy. <laughs> your loved ones are being left out of conversations, unable to video chat or make free calls, and that's sad. Luckily, so there's something you can do. Stage an email intervention. To assist you, we've created a toolkit at emailintervention.com. It's fast, it's easy. It's the right thing to do. Your friends are counting on you, even if they don't know it yet. All right, it, was okay. it wasn't as funny as I thought it was going to be, but... No, it wasn't as good as the other one, but... It actually should have been better. They had much. They had. They could have really made that. I mean, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Come on, they don't have the funds to get funny. I guess not. <laughs> I mean, they just spent twelve and a half billion on Motorola. But what I what I like about this is they're right. It's Gmail rocks. So Gmail is pretty awesome. Speedmail is the best thing ever, and it's fantastic. Thank you, thank it's you. It's one. <laughs> no, you got to say Fant it's fantastic. No, yeah. Wait, how, what syllable does he stress? Awesome. He stresses like the middle syllable, I think. Anyway. Yes, it is. Le okay. Liam, what do you got? The next one will be better, I promise. Thank you. Just practice. You can mute, you, mute your mic and practice. What have I got? Well, since he brought a video, I will also not bring a video, except for it's totally a video. Yes. This I, I love when people crack up on the air on live TV. Oh, me this, too. This makes yeah. me giggle. It is funny. There's nothing better than that. Nothing better than a good meltdown. It's true. Anderson Cooper. <laughs> Ooh, Anderson Cooper. All right, here we go. See, Liam, that was easy. Link, Put a link in the video. No speech needed. CNN, we find you in 10 Eastern. Time now for the ridiculous, and tonight we're adding Gerard Depardieu. Noted French actor, Academy Award nominee, public urinator. That's right, I said urinator. Last night on a flight from Paris to Dublin, Depardieu reportedly peed on the floor. Apparently the plane was on the tarmac and the flight attendant told him he'd have to wait to use the bathroom until takeoff. So Depardieu <laughs> created his own little jet stream, or as the French would say, wee oui, wee. Oui. When I first heard the story this morning, I thought there was no way it was real. But the airline CityJet confirmed it beyond any shadow of skepticism. And by that, I mean they vaguely tweeted about it. Quote, as you may have seen on the news, we are busy mopping the floor of one of our planes this morning. We'd also like to remind all passengers that our planes are fully equipped with toilet facilities. <laughs> hmm, city jet. I would have guessed it flies incontinental. Incontinental. Anyway, <laughs> the airline was busy putting the wow. pee back in PR, some of the passengers just couldn't hold it anymore and started spilling their versions of the incident to the press. Can you blame them? They saw an actual thespian actually thespian. This, this, oh, <laughs> it's full of puns. Jesus. This probably won't come as a shock, but several passengers say Depardieu was, you guessed it, visibly drunk. I think there's another explanation. See, as a celebrity, he's not accustomed to being told he can't do things he wants to do when he wants to do them. Things like going to the bathroom. No, he's probably used to being, you know, pampered. Uh, I'd go as far as to say he depends on it. <laughs> The graphic in case you didn't get the reference depends on oh it. my god but it's kind of sad when you think about it this guy has been in hundreds of movies will he be remembered for Cyrano de Bergerac probably not will he be remembered for <laughs> green card mm, nope this is this incident is likely to go down as his number one role although there is a bright side <laughs> I get it stop we, laughing it's distracting we got it <laughs> now that we know he doesn't have any stage fright when it comes to public urination maybe he can get together with his fellow castmates. Does it get Vienna better, Rose, Liam? And they can all have a. I think it does. <laughs> really? <clears throat> yeah. Wow. Does he like start just... cracking up at his own jokes? He does. All right. It's just awful. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's pushing through pretty good. It's so you know, bad. Like a, it's a good. Payoff. Yeah, it is bad. Yeah. Payoff is 
The movie was about Edith Piaf. Piaf. Oh. So after Gerard took his little solo flight to urination, the plane had to turn around and go back to the gate, and some unlucky cleaning crew had to deal with the Golden Globe winning tinkle. Now, all I can say is they should thank their lucky stars it wasn't Depard too. Oh, my Sorry. God. <laughs> that made me giggle every time I read it. He hasn't commented on this incident. <laughs> Part two. I know you got it, but <laughs> <laughs> is he drunk? <laughs> no, he's just a nerd. <laughs> look at look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he actually yeah, just wiped away the tear. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> he's like laughing like a little girl. Sorry, he is a little girl. <laughs> commented on the incident, but if I know the European celebrity spin machine, and I think I do, there will probably be some excuse like he was doing research for a movie role. As we speak, I bet somewhere in Paris, a screenwriter is furiously typing out a period piece about the potty training misadventures of an overgrown drunk French two-year-old. His entourage <laughs> reportedly says that he wasn't drunk and he just tried to discreetly pee in a bottle, but I'm not sure that version holds water. In any case, Gerard, chin up. Yes, this incident was in all the papers, but it's nothing but yellow journalism, and soon it will be flushed from oh. our memories. So, just go with the flow on the ridiculous. You know, he that's just no. horrendous. <laughs> he tried way Best, too hard. Worst puns ever. Worst puns ever, yeah. Why does the news love puns so much? It's hate, so frustrating. I hate, puns. I hate puns. That should be one of my dislikes. Uh, play, do you ever go to like a restaurant like called, a, like, okay, that are named puns and they, they try to be clever, like oh. walk and roll? Like if they no. have walk and roll, they have Chinese food, and it's, I cannot stand naming a business like that. I cannot stand businesses named like that. I don't like just. It. I hate puns. It, yeah. You know, puns are the it, it. Like every once in a while, like like a like one, and then you go ha ha ha. You know, it's like yeah. uh, and it's, I occasionally they're clever. Right. But the news is never good with them. Well, it's because oh. they're forced. I'm just. It's I mean, the force just, puns that I have issues with. There was nothing yeah. funny about that other than... I mean, no, there was just nothing funny yeah, other right. than the fact that he melted down. He melted right. down. Right <laughs> the funniest part about that was his laugh and how girly it was. That was pretty odd. How girly it was. Yeah, right. but... Uh, was, I'll just say that there's been rumors about him, and that's all I'll say. Okay. Yeah, so if anybody... Uh, that's all you're going to say for the rest of the show? <laughs> no. Can we get that in writing? Steve D, come on, you're up. Did you did you finally no, get into the you, chat room? You don't want to hear anything. <laughs> Tell you what, send it to me in the Skype chat, and then I'll repost it for you. He can't get into a chat room. No, no, this he's, is tried. Skype. he's tried. He's <laughs> tried. I'm in. I'm in the chat room. I don't know what you were talking about. All right. Anyway, so have you heard about you've heard about planking, right? I got two oh, things. God, God I, I hate this. Uh... Pla planking. You got you, you, Steve. You heard about this planking thing? No, actually, I haven't. Okay, plank. Do, do a, I'm not gonna give you like you just do it. Uh, Google um, image planking. Okay, what is it? You just tell me. It's when basically uh, somebody just lays on the floor like a plank, okay. like a plank of wood. Right. And they just 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 like arms sometimes arms stretched forward, sometimes they're tucked in, but whatever. It's just like acting like. Like a literally just a piece of wood, and sometimes it, it almost looks like you're sleeping in a way. Sometimes, but it's just you have to be straight. Some plank people, uh, and, they, and of course, there's usually a picture involved. Um, some people that are planking will uh, um, like do it like in toilet bowls, like hanging literally like like their legs are up against the ceiling near like the against the wall somewhere, and then their head will be resting and their shoulders will be resting inside the toilet bowl, which is some fantasticness right there. Have you found any? Uh, I actually didn't. I didn't do it. Sir. You didn't do it. Uh, a lot of times they'll plank between two items. Like there's a great. Great one of a gal trying to plank between uh, uh, her countertop and her stove. I'm doing it now. All right, planking. People planking. 
is people plank on top of each other or